Well, I have big news for everybody. Eric Trump has finally found the proof that the election was rigged and it's everything we need to have a really good discussion about cult psychology. Um, take a look at this video. This is an I think that actually this is an interview with Carrie Lake. I don't know if Carrie Lake is conducting the interview or if Eric Trump is conducting the interview or if this is not even Carrie Lake. But here is Eric Trump explaining how he knows that uh, Joe Biden stole or stole the 2020 election. Listen to this. You'll never have me believe uh, that there wasn't serious fraud in the election. I would parallel Joe Biden around the country. He'd be in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. I'd be across the block somewhere, you know, Wilkes-Barre. He would have 20 people. I'd have a thousand. If it looks like a duck and acts like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a damn duck, right? And All right. So it is with Kerry Lake. So Eric says Biden would go here and Eric would go to the same place. And Biden had 20 people at his rally and Eric had a thousand. So clearly, if, if you translate that to votes, it means it couldn't possibly have been the case that Joe Biden actually won. Now, there's two layers to this. I don't want to focus on the first layer. The first layer is remember what was going on at the time with covid and that Joe Biden just wasn't really doing the mass rallies because it was considered irresponsible at the time to do it. You can agree or disagree that it was, but it was considered irresponsible to do it by much of the country. And so Joe Biden just wasn't doing those types of events, whereas the Trump people were. But forget about that. OK. This is all about how cults work. Those who follow Trump are in a cult to a great degree, and those who follow Joe Biden are not. Let me say it in a different way. People who follow Joe Biden or who supported Joe Biden did not see Biden as someone to have an unwavering belief or allegiance to. Cults revolve around some leader, usually a charismatic leader. Now, they could be genuinely charismatic or just sort of like appear to be charismatic to low information people. Doesn't really matter. They're perceived as charismatic and Trump's cult perceives him as charismatic. And you have an unwavering belief in an allegiance to that leader and you have to demonstrate that allegiance. The left doesn't have an unwavering belief in Joe Biden. The left doesn't have an unwavering allegiance to Joe Biden. We just look at the candidates and we vote for the better one, the least worse one, whatever you want to say. You, you, you put them on a scale and you say, which candidate are we better off with at the end of the day? And then you vote and then you move on with your day. You don't see the cultish behavior on the left in this way. You don't see the flags. You don't see the uh, same sort of you know boat parades or attacking everyone on the Internet who goes after. When I see people attack Joe Biden on the Internet, I, I just move on <laughs> uh, to the extent that I do a show. If I see Republicans going after Biden in an unfair way, we talk about it here and that's it. If you look online at what happens when people go after Trump, these right wing nuts come out of the woodwork and they attack your family and they attack you as a person and all of these different things. So this is all about what is Biden about and what is Trump about? Biden doesn't invite the cultish following that Eric is referring to with the flags and the screaming and the crosses and the entire thing. Biden's about functional leadership. Biden's about policy. Biden's not about symbolism and rituals, as many cult leaders are. Trump is about us versus them. Populist rhetoric, Trump as a person rather than Trump as here's a series of policy ideas. Remember that none of Biden's campaign was about Biden as a personality. Everything about Trump's campaign is about Trump as a personality and as an individual. So Eric Trump is right. You didn't see the unhinged cultish support of Biden that you saw of Trump. But that has nothing to do with how people voted. And there continues to be no evidence that Joe Biden stole the election from Trump. Not that I need to tell most of my audience that, but I figured I would mention it.